Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I will show you how to do basic Excel calculations using PHP spreadsheet in Coding Nighter. So I have already shown you how to download my SQL data into an Excel file. So I'll be continuing with that. So if you have not watched that video, please go and watch that. So let me show you Excel file. So I'll be calculating subtotal. So I have quantity and price. So basically I'll be doing multiplication of quantity and price. So write C2 multiply is star here and price will be D2 column. So all four items should have these subtotal. So let's go and do this by code. So I have already created one spreadsheet export function. So I'll be continuing from there only. So first one I'm going to do is I'm going to give heading that is subtotal. So copy cell value and pass even subtotal in that. After that one for each is there. So that is like product list from my DB. So also paste cell value here and column is going to be E, SN is my like counter, it will count each product. So in second one, I'm going to pass the formula. So write equals to P and pass SN because I want like subtotal for every product. Then star D and again pass SN. So now let's go and check in browser. Refresh the browser and click on download Excel data. So file is downloaded now. So open it and you can see all subtotal are there and it's so it's basically multiplying C column with D column and giving us output that is subtotal in E column. So next I'll be doing is total that is sum. So write total in a column and after that equals sum and it's going from E2 to E5. So I want sum of these all subtotal. So I'll be showing you this now how to do this using code. Now after for each write sheet one set cell value. And in cell value, I'll be like firstly defining total. So that's on D8. So pass column D8. And value as total. Again, write set cell value in which I'll be like passing my formula. So that will be E8. Write equal sum. And it's going to be E2. So from E2 to last product. So last product will be like SN as it has total product now. So pass SN. Now let's go in browser and refresh again and download Excel data. So now open that. So now you can see I have total of all products. So if I click on total, so you can see it's taking to E6. So I need to minus one from this so in my formula just minus one after sn and keep that in our bracket so now let's go to browser and refresh click download excel data again so product file is downloaded now open that and if i'll again show you total so now it's taking to e5 so now it's taking correct. So in this video, I have shown you two basic calculations. So if you want me to go through other calculations as well, then let me know in the comment section what type of calculations you want. So thank you so much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel.